Alright, they said when they turn on the dryer, the outlets in the living room start tweaking out. I can hear something sparking in the, the breaker panel, so I'm going to pull the cover off and take a look. Let's see if I can work in here. It's a mess. And the heating element's not coming on. Bet we got a bad breaker for the dryer. It's not heating at all. That's cold. Check the breaker. All right, I got the breaker panel off. Let's see what's tweaking out when the dryer turns on. Hear that sizzle? All right, we're gonna change this breaker out. Whew. Smoky. Whew. This was a weird one, man. I couldn't get it to do it every time. And I test it and say like 240, and it would go to 244. Then it would go down to 130. Ooh, it's hot too. And then it'd go down to 130 volts and back up to 240 and hold. Looks a little roasty, but not too bad. The old bar looks good. All right, we'll change it out. It's been a roast fest here lately. Roasted microwave magnetrons, roasted GFIs, with roach poop all over it. Now we got a roasted breaker that was doing it intermittently. It fooled me there for a second. Yeah, here's the bad one. Stinks. Smells like melted plastic. Put our new one in. Alright, the new one's wired up. Connections are tight. I'm being super careful too, guys. Even though I've done a thousand of these things, I always respect it. I always respect electricity. All right, I got the new one in. I needed two hands to, to hook it in the back and then push it in. Let's see what happens. No crispy, no sizzle. Let's make sure the dryer is heating now. Oh yeah, it's heating now. As soon as I open the door, I can feel the heat. I'm gonna turn the light off so I can see the uh, heating element light up. All right, there it is. I wasn't doing that with the old breaker in there. It's working now. So I guess when that thing was tweaking out, it was tweaking out all the outlets. That was on the work order. It said all the outlets are tweaking out, not working. They were glitching, they said. Yeah, they also said their dryer wasn't turning on, but that's because the switch was cracked. This is a very common problem with the GE dryers, guys. If you roll up on one, they say it's not turning on when they hit the start button. Pull this off and uh, see if it's cracked. Easy fix. Slide the new one on, you're gone. Now I gotta check all the outlets because they said they were all not working and glitching. Rosephus. This one works, but I plug my heat gun into this one and no dice. So now I gotta figure this out. Yeah, I put the breaker panel back on. Family room. Power is dead. Hopefully it's got a loose neutral or something. 
something easy. Could the dryer have caused this? Who knows? I've seen some crazy things. All right, I pulled this one out. It is good. And then I pulled this one out. Grabbed my Chicago heat gun from Harbor Freight. Had it for 10 years, thank you. And turn it on. Well, I can't get it to spark, but it was sparking up a storm. Now it won't do it. I mean, you can see the little roast there. So I'm gonna change this outlet out and that should restore power to its normal, to its normal uh, ways of doing things. Come on, spark. I promise it was doing it. There it is, there's the problem. It's starting to melt. These Hubble outlets and Hubble switches out here, they've been nothing but a headache, nothing but problems. We're slowly switching them out. I've had some of these just totally melt behind the wall. I mean, freaking the resident out, smoking, sparking. This one was on its way there, but we caught it early. And also, dudes, I'm, I apologize for not going through the wiring the other day on that roached out GFI with all the roach boo-boo on it. I mean, those roaches had my head spinning, so I wanted to get out of there. But um, when you look on the back of a, a outlet and it says line in, that's going to be your hot wire. That wire right there. That's going to go into the line in. And uh, be sure the uh, the hot and the, the neutral are coming out of the same conduit. So yeah, this is your line in. And then you load out. The rest aren't hot. That's the ground. Neutral, neutral. Load out. Line in. Your line in will always be hot, so that's where your line in will go. You'll see it. You'll see it written on there with an arrow pointing into the hole or on the screw. So I didn't really get into that on the GFI because I wanted to get out of that roach fest. Alright, I'm gonna wire in this new outlet and get out of here, man. Today's been a brain smasher. It's only Monday morning. First thing I come into is this. And I'm by myself. All right, bro, Cephas, I'm all wired up, We're ready to jam. Slowly getting rid of these these hubbles. So now I'm gonna turn the power back on and I have to check all the outlets in the living room because none of them were working. Only one, well, the only one that was working was that one. All right, this is the last outlet in the line. It wasn't working earlier. Good to go now. That was our problem. This started over there, behind that couch. What a party. Dryer not working because of cracked knob. Dryer not heating, turning on but not heating because of bad breaker and sizzling. And also giving me 240, which was really weird, but it was crackling and smoking and melting. Then living room outlet didn't work. Outlet melting. What a party. And I'm by myself today and I start my own call week today. So we're going to be partying all week, kid. All right. Thank you all for watching the Dirty Maintenance Show.